This is question number six in the ACT math practice exam I'm working through and we're going to deal with arithmetic in particular absolute value. So you can see these absolute value bars on either side of these equations, these two equations here. So we've got them on the, these little sticks here on the sides of the equation 7 minus 5 and the equation 4 minus 9. So what is absolute value? All right, let me draw a line here. So if we draw a number line Absolute value, all it is, is just the distance from zero on your basic number line, right? So if I draw some points here, I've got one, two, three, and then I can draw negative one, negative two, negative three. So for example, if I have, let's say, what, uh, one minus three, that equals negative two, so then you can ask, well, what's the distance from zero of negative two? Well, the distance is just two, right? So if you count over one space, two space, spaces and whole numbers, it's just two from zero. And you can go the other way too. You can you know look at a negative number like if I have uh, three minus, or a positive number, I'm sorry. If I have three plus uh, two, let's say that equals five, right? And if I make a couple more points here on my number line, five, all right, so then what's the distance from zero? Well, five, right? So pretty pretty straightforward, right? All right, so let's deal with the equations that you've got here in uh, question number six. First one is seven minus five. That equals two, of course. And by the way, you always do the equations inside the absolute value bars first before you do anything outside of them. It's just like parentheses. Uh, so that they act just like a parentheses. Okay, so seven minus five is two, and so let me just draw another absolute, or excuse me, another number line. All right. So how far from zero is two? Well, of course it's two. It's two away, right? All right. So the absolute value of seven minus five is two. Okay. Now the other equation is four minus nine, right? And then that equals negative five. Four minus nine equals negative five. So if I draw these little uh, negative numbers here on my number line, extend it a little bit maybe, negative 4 and negative 5. All right, so how far from 0, use a different color here, how far from 0 is negative 5? Well, I draw my line all the way over here, and I can just count over 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So it's 5 away. So the absolute value of negative 5 is 5, right? So I'll draw in my little five here. And then I can do the subtraction that's outside of the absolute value bar. So two minus five, and what does that equal? Well, two minus five equals negative three, and that is F.